What Would You Make is an open collaboration with OK at Home DIY and Connie's Creative Creations. The co-host is Brenda at Rustic and Lace. These amazing crafters are superstar and all around wonderful helpers. Be sure to subscribe, like, save, and comment on their channels. The links to their channels is in the description box below. Other crafters are in the playlist and have made some great DIYs. The link to the playlist is in the description box below. Check them out and subscribe, like, and comment on their channels. My first DIY is a tablescape centerpiece. The supplies include a wood embroidery hoop, a small wooden box from Dollar Tree, tiny flowers in white, blue, and salmon color, battery operated fairy lights with leaves, a drill, jewel ribbon, hot glue with sticks, carving tool, and acrylic chalk paint and plaster. If you haven't realized, that is my new color now. I wanted something for my Mother's Day tablescape centerpiece. I checked to see what I had around the house. I came across a wooden hoop and the remains of a small wooden crafter square gift box. I checked to see if the battery operated system would fit into the box. Then I painted the box with acrylic chalk paint in the colored plaster and let it dry. The embroidery hoop was done with the same process. I drilled an opening in the top of the box and the embroidery hoop. I made sure the opening was large enough for the fairy lights with leaves could be threaded through the opening. I had to keep making the opening larger. However, I did not want it to be too large because I didn't want things to fall out. Also, I wanted to make sure that the lights worked after I threaded it through. Then I threaded the fairy lights with the leaves through the opening of the box and the embroidery hoop. Then use wood glue to adhere the hoop to the box and clamped it together for a few hours because I wanted it to dry really good before I started threading anything because I didn't want it to come apart. After that, I wrapped the fairy vine around the hoop until I reached the bottom of the other side. Then I began hot gluing the tiny flowers to the hoop in between the leaves. And I just altered the flowers of the different colors in between the leaves so, you know, it was pleasing to my eye. Lastly, putting the bling wrap around the bottom of the box. If you check with the May 2nd Tablescape Tuesdays, you will see it in full bloom. I think it is a great addition to honor mother with lights and flowers. So let me know what you think about this simple but elegant project. DIY number two, a wood planter. The supplies needed include one eight inch wood brown, one square stick, and they were like 36 inches long and I got those from Joann's, an acrylic chalk paint and plaster, electric saw or you can use an exacto knife, tumbling tower blocks, wood glue, some succulents, floral foam, and hot glue. Now this is a modern planter that you can put full dried or even real florals if you have a plastic container that fit inside. The first thing you want to do is cut the circle in half with an electric saw or exacto knife and this depends on how hard or soft the wood is. If the wood is thin use an exacto knife. If it is thick then you want to use your electric saw. Now what I did is I used my electric saw, which was not too good, but I did manage to keep it together so it didn't like splinter and fall all apart. So I took one half of the round and start gluing tumbling tower blocks on the half circle bottom. And I glued the blocks from one end to the other. 
I arranged the space and blocks side by side and I tried not to have too large of openings in between them. Now, once that is dry, I took the other half and used wood glue to adhere to the top of the blocks. I laid some heavy books on top so that it would dry overnight. And then the next day, I had to decide how I wanted to cut the sticks and where was I going to put them, on the front or the side or both. You can put the sticks diagonally, horizontally, or vertically. I decided to lay mine horizontally. You can cut the square strips of wood to fit because as the, the top is going to be wider and by the time they get to the bottom, they're going to be very small. And I just glued them on and allowed that to dry overnight because I didn't want to lift it up and start painting and whatever and have them to fall off. It looked so high-end and modern. After the planter was completed, I used acrylic chalk paint in the color plaster and painted the entire modern planter. After it was dry, I inserted floral foam and then I put some succulents in the container. This was so easy. I would love for you to try this sometime. DIY number three. This is a stick bowl. Now, I made one of these previously and it looked really nice, but this one I did a little bit different. And the nice thing about the stick bowl, there's no right or wrong way to do it. The supplies needed include a handsaw, wood glue, wood dowels, and I use about three packs or more, acrylic chalk paint and plaster, crafter square wood shaped frames. Now this was a round frame that was kind of on a stick with a base but I only use the round wood shape for that and then the Dollar Tree clamps. Now you start by taking the stem off of the Crafter Square round wood shape photo. And then I also remove the paper photo and that was inside the picture frame. And I beveled all of the dolls that were glued to the round wooden frame. Like I said before, there's no rhyme or reason how you place the dolls around the wood base. You just use wood glue and clamp in areas that may fall down after you've placed them. After that is completed, then start placing them haphazardly all around the tall pieces. You know, you can just put some here, put some there, short pieces and long pieces. You want to alternate short and long. You don't want to have them all the same size. However, you could do that. I did not use hot glue because with this project, the wood glue makes the bowl sturdier. There is no right or wrong way to make the stick basket. You can use a few dolls or you can use a ton of them. It just depends on your aesthetic. Once you have the dolls in place and there are no wide open spaces, then it's time to paint. And I used chalk paint in the colored plaster and painted the entire bowl. Once that was dry, I cut a round cardstock paper and put that in the middle where the photo was supposed to be housed. And you can put anything in there. You can cut a round piece of wood and put it in there. But I use paper because you can change it out as you would like. I threw some lemons in the bowl for a pop of color and voila, what a nice addition to any countertop or table. Well, that is all Z9 Design family. Make sure you subscribe, like, save, and comment. I have 
over 900 subscribers on my channel and I want to sincerely thank you. I will be announcing the winner soon, so keep watching because another giveaway will occur when I reach 1,000. Also, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And give me a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. And remember, there is only one happiness in this life, to love and to be loved. This is by George Sand. See you later. Bye-bye.